Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going on a boat tour out on Lake Topo to go see the Maori rock carvings. We are so excited. We're just making some coffee and then we're going to go because it is currently 8.45 so we've got to get there in the next 20 minutes. For those of you who don't know where Topo is, it is in the centre of the North Island of New Zealand. We've actually been living here since July so it's where we consider home for the time being. Topo has a population of 40,000 people which doubles in the summer. It is in fact New Zealand's second most popular Airbnb destination after Queenstown. Topo is really popular not only because of its location and the amazing views of Tongariro National Park but also because it's famous for its trout fishing, the tours that you can do on the lake and also things like skydiving. We found an epic deal for this boat tour so online the regular price is $56 for an adult and we got it for 24 each via book me good amount of money saved. We decided to go with the Kindred Spirit on BookMe as they have an absolutely gorgeous sailboat that you get to go out onto the lake. They had the longest time and the longest swim time as well. We did not go in the water, no one did, because it was absolutely freezing in there. But it was so lovely, sat on the lake, on the boat with our pillows and our blankets and our unlimited hot drinks and free biscuits. So if you're wondering where these carvings came from, they were actually created by an artist called Matahi Brightwell. So he led a team of four other artists out onto the lake and they were literally wearing nothing but safety goggles and speedos, which is just the epitome of the 70s really. It took them four years to complete them and they were finally completed in 1980. Now, Matahi created these carvings for his grandmother who had requested he went to Topor and created a permanent connection for her family to the land. The large carving has been made in the likeness of her ancestor and the smaller ones are Tupuna, which are ancestors, and Kai Tiaki, which are guardians. meter mass, 100 meter sail area, largest on the lake. It's going to be pretty easy to begin with. Um, just start pulling it through your hand like that, nice and steady. Then when it gets hard, uh, we pull it at the same time. You'll know when to do that because this jump front will get very red and very tired. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to keep an eye on the sail for the first 10 meters and then I'll step in and give you guys a hand. Okay, so nice and steady to begin with, just kind of pull it through your hand. Pull at the same time. One, two, three. One big pull. One, two, three. Excellent job. Well done. Well done. These guys are Lake Topor is the largest body of fresh water in the entire southern hemisphere. In fact, it's so large, it's the same size as Singapore. The lake was created by the giant Orinui eruption that happened 27,000 years ago. It shot ash as high as 50 kilometers into the air, covering the North Island with ash, and it was so large, the ash cloud, that it was able to be seen from China and parts of Europe. Today, the lake isn't just used for recreational activities, but it's also used to power the local area via hydroelectric dams, like the one we saw at Adotiatia Rapids.
has been absolutely amazing. So good. We've loved it so much. I would recommend definitely coming and doing mm -hmm. this particular one as well because it is the longest tour. Yeah. Um, out of all the tours and you get a free hot drink as well actually free unlimited hot drinks free unlimited hot drinks so absolutely amazing thank you for coming with us on this amazing boat tour and make sure to like subscribe and turn on those notifications because we're here for you every, every Monday, Monday.